Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll see how to add a currency converter in your Shopify store for free. So as you can see, I am visiting the site from India and all the prices are in Indian rupees. I can also change the currency from here. If I turn on VPN, As you can see the VPN country is selected to America. It shows the prices in USD. So let's start. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss such videos. Now from your Shopify dashboard go to apps now search for currency converter. And there are plenty of currency converter apps some are free some are paid so i'll choose this one box currency converter pro as you can see it's a free app so now install it now install app Now we have to set up the app. So step one, set up money format. So we have to add this uh, currency formatting in our store. So now go to settings and scroll down to store currency and click on change formatting. So there are two fields: HTML with currency and without currency. copy this and paste it here similarly copy this and paste it in the without currency field and now save now click i have done this step 1 is completed now go to step 2 enable theme app extension click on this link it will get you to the customizer enable the currency app and now save so second step is done now step 3 enable the app click on enable the app We successfully added the app. Let's go to our website and see if it's working or not. It's not working as we are we are seeing the default currency. So we have to select all the currencies. Now save. and i refresh now and now it's showing indian rupees as pricing and i also can change the currencies from this widget it's working fine make sure the current location based currency is on You can also show currency symbol like this. I'll turn on the active install loader as it will boost the loading speed. You can change the cart notification. You can round the converter prices. You can play with these settings and save. Now let's go to theme.
due to some reason the act the theme part is uh, acting weirdly so now let's go to the display option here you can change the position of the widget you can show it on the header you can also add it to the custom position you can also change the position for mobile devices you can turn on this option to show original prices on mouse over let's save changes and let's see the final results and it's perfect and we are done leave us a comment below if you still have any queries make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss such videos